What's going on guys? Vic VP back with a game case arcades video. On this one today, we got a mini V pin in our hands and it needs some serious help. So it's been a while talking about V pins on my channel. Again, I have my own V pin. I actually just completed as far as the VPX side of it, about 332 tables on that. I'll be posting a video on my V pin pretty soon. But for right now, let's discuss this mini V pin in our hand. This V pin came from an actual subscriber. Uh, his name is Kevin. His uh, Instagram is at game on game off, um, all underscores in between the words. So shout out to Kev for sending me this um, straight from Maryland, Maryland to New York. Um, he has a couple issues with this. Um, big thing is that he was trying to put LED buttons. He wound up frying the KLZ board that was in this and now it basically made the system useless. None of the buttons work and stuff. I right now actually didn't change the board yet, but I do have the pieces on it. But I did want to kind of show this video first for Kev to, you know, see that I got your shipment. Usually I do an unboxing and I recorded it, but I discovered that my microphone battery died, so there's no audio to that. So this is basically it in our hands. So it came perfectly fine. Uh, UPS shipped it, so there's no scratches or anything on it, no cracked glass or anything on it. Um, but there's a lot of very depressing things. Um, I basically sent him a message. I said, listen, this, this system is really brutal. He gave me a couple of details. Um, cause in all honesty, when he messaged me about a KLZ board dying, I said, why don't you contact the person that the person that you purchased it from, it should be an easy swap. Cause a KLZ board is a USB device. Um, I'm not going to go too much into it cause it's kind of going to be a, he said, she said, so I don't want to really. You know, I can't really talk much about what he said to the company, but basically he got the runaround. Um, and he said, Vic, if I send it to you, can you bring back the KLZ board and stuff and do a couple of things? So I said, you know what? Let's do it, send it to me, I'll have a crack at it. Now, with his permission, um, again, I'm the type of person to tell you straight out. I'll, I'll give you like, you know, the straight answer. I don't like to, you know, beat around the bush or sugarcoat stuff, but I said to him, listen, um, basically I got the unit in and I messaged him a couple of things before I'm shooting this video and he gave me the A-OK -okay to discuss anything and everything that I personally suggest. So I'm gonna drop the company name on this one. So he purchased this cabinet from a company called Mini Arcade Machines, located in Pine Alice Park, Florida. Um, it's it's a little rough. This story is pretty sad, it's, it's pretty rough. I'm a very big believer on you get what you pay for. This mini V pin, and again, from what he told me as far as the deal on this, apparently this is the company's first ever V pin they ever made. So this is kind of like a test, if you could say. I've done that a couple of times on other really arcade builds where I give basically a customer a deal since it's the first time I'm doing it. Basically I say you have to cover for the parts and you'll be basically the tester on it. Um, this is just a little sad it's it's so shocking i would even ask you how much do you think he paid for this um it looks like we're running a 24 inch um play field um and i think the back glass is i think it's like an 18 inch dell um you'd be surprised he paid 1500 dollars for this unit and i am just i'm so mind blown and shocked at that price tag because the stuff that is in this, I, I'm sorry, Kev, but this, this unit, it's good for, for him because he's just kind of, it's there, he could play it. But if it was something that was very serious into like V pinball, um, this is a major letdown. So again, I dropped the, the company name. I'm not messaging them. I get it. You know, some people do want to do tests. They do want to, you know, trial run something, but the price has to be right and unfortunately i'm sorry to say but 1500 dollars for this unit this unit is not even worth like 400 bucks it is that brutal and i just turned it on like the fourth time and i'm discovering more atrocious stuff with this build so um you know again kev kev gave me the okay to totally you know go with my personal opinion and go all out on this so I will be doing that. So again, we do have a mini vid pen. He sent it to me. Um, it does have pinball legs. I didn't ask for pictures of it. He didn't send me the pinball legs, 
but I believe it is using real pinball legs. Um, as far as like the actual brackets inside, I could see it is a real pinball leg, but I don't really know. I mean, I can't comment on the pinball legs, but this does actually stand on legs. The size of this thing is small in my opinion. I personally don't like it. Um, it's made out of MDF, it's half inch MDF. I'll bring you closer and we'll take a look because what's so depressing is the computer in this. I, I, I can't even believe the specs on this. It is that bad. So shockingly, like the, the side art on it is pretty nice. Um, it's, it's got a nice little kind of decal to it. The pinball zone, so it should be like the twilight zone kind of stuff. But it's got a couple of nice, you know, pinball classics. You got um, Tales of the Arabian Nights. You even got Adam's Family, uh, Creature from the Black Lagoon. Artwork seems okay. It's just, it's missing everything else. I mean, no artwork on the back box. It is spray painted black. Um, the, 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 the front here is just black. It's kind of just who cares kind of thing. It, it doesn't look right. Um, I don't know if these buttons came stock. From them, um, I'll bring you in closer. I'm not a fan of these kind of um, spacers. This one, I think Kevin put these because he did want LED buttons. So basically what happened was Kevin purchased LED buttons, I'm assuming, and he tried to wire it to the KLZ board. And then I guess he must have shorted something and the KLZ board died. So it's not really an issue with the company as far as KLZ board, Kev tried to do something. So. Really, Kevin messaged me and says, hey Vic, I want LED buttons. That was like the main thing he wanted. So I said, LED, LED buttons are is easy. Like I'm not even honestly charging Kevin for anything that I did because it's a very easy setup. But, you know, it's cool. It's pretty good content, I hope. So LED buttons, you know, he supplied it. I supplied basically the two flipper buttons. You can kind of see I put the chrome blues because that's all I had. Uh, he supplied these in the front. Um, I'm gonna take you closer. He's got like these labels. Um, he printed that out. Um, I don't know, you know, he wanted it to make it easy for somebody to use it, but V-Pin should be like pretty easy to navigate and shouldn't be that difficult. Um, shockingly, this is using an actual plunger. Uh, it is using a real um, plunger uh, from a pinball machine. So that was pretty cool to see. Um, the back box design is pretty interesting because this actually is like on a hinge. Um, he shipped it to me and it's actually shipped with the back box down. So as far as like features, that was pretty cool to see that the back box kind of flips down. I'm going to bring you guys closer and we'll take a look at the inside of this atrocious machine. All right, so we're going to bring you in closer on this. So basically right now, again, KLZ board on this is dead. So that's why I have my USB keyboard here. There's really a plexiglass kind of thing that goes over this, but I'm working on the machine right now. So I took it off. Um, so as you can see real quick, the face of this, again, it looks like Kevin printed this out. Press start to play, press twice, start game, then press. I guess there was more stuff to it. He actually tried to put his own launch ball here. He said it made, he made the, the hole too big. Again, I'm not too sure. So it is a little bit of Kevin's doing as far as the front. But again, we're really going to be discussing this V-pin because $1,500 is just atrocious of it's, it's just insane um again i'm a firm believer of you get what you pay for but this right here is an, an awful example of how business is done and kevin getting screwed on this it is that bad so take a look real quick at the back box um you know got a couple of random screws here i'm not even going to take this apart um i think i'm able to see inside windows um the actual kind of screens being used so real quick showing you the back box if I flip this down without putting too much stress on the plug there, you can see how this is. It's basically hinged and then there's two wires going in. There's basically a power wire and a VGA wire, which is another big thing about this. Um, again, it's, it's, it's just so sad. Let's, I'm going to take the play field out. So now here's where the real disappointment is. Okay. This is running like a Dell Optiplex variant of an HP PC. Um, semi decased. It's just you could even see this wiring mess. Uh, we got like this random speaker setup. I mean, I get it because you need sound. Um, most shockingly, 
It's running a GTX 1030. There is a graphics card in it. He's got HDMI to VGA converters. So this isn't even an HD play field. It is V it's literally VGA um, conversion, um, which is pretty sad because you're not even getting 1080p on this. It's, it's VGA. Um, we can see real quick the wiring here. Here's what I think. Again, this is the stock KLZ board. And it looks like this was added possibly by Kevin. Um, I have an end here and an end here. It looks like he added that and probably shorted out the system. Um, again, I basically set him up with a USB LED power um, to keep it easy. Uh, he looks like here real quick for the plunger, it looks like he's using one of those kits that somebody did a 3D, um, a 3D print on. And it's basically wired up to the KLZ board. It does have a slider. Yes, it is a potentiometer. It's actually the same potentiometer that I have in my V-Pin. looks like, I think it's called like a Zebs kind of plunger kit. So there's your real analog plunger, which is probably a great feature out of this. Again, you can kind of see the pinball legs, um, the brackets right there. Again, I'm not, I don't remember, I think mine were bigger uh, in my V-Pin, but again, just kind of looking at the system, but the atrocity of this. And when we go through the specs of this PC, somebody should be ashamed of themselves. So now real quick, again, I don't have the KLZ board hooked up right now. And the big thing is that I did want to shoot this video before I swap it out. We are going to play a couple of games um, with this because I did hook Kevin up with something else. But first, I need you guys to see the... Um, the specs on this also real quick I, it's like every time i turn it on i discover something doesn't even have windows active like come on are you serious <laughs> let's put the play field back let's take a look at the specs okay now here's the shocking thing right here look at this it is an intel core duo it's not even i3 i5 i7 it's a core duo running four gigs of ram and I believe this is running a hundred S a hundred gigabyte SSD. So if I go real quick to the C drive, if I go to my PC, yes, this has about a hundred and eighteen gig. It is an SSD, so luckily they did good with that, but not much room left. And as I navigate pinup player, which this is running pinup player. It just gets more disappointing. Okay, so we relaunched pinup player, right? Um, menu screen off the bat, there should be audio to this. It looks like not all the tables have audio, which is sad. I don't even understand this person's main menu. Um, it's just Star Wars is two games. There's a random Blues Brothers, two games. V-Pin. Uh, future pinball i should say this does have vp9 and then there is vpx so if i go into vpx again no audio but you only have eight gigs open so you don't have that much room for this gi joe this again um as far as when i talk about my v pin i didn't do these games these type of games that were just kind of bells and dings i didn't do these yes these are retro yes these are classic on my personal pin, I did not do these. I basically aimed for games kind of like this that were objective-based kind of stuff. Um, but as we go down the list, no audio, which is like, that's a deal breaker. And I did go into um, like the pinup media section where you download stuff. There is no audio on this. Uh, somebody even messaged, and I do put it on Facebook, on the Facebook group for VPIN. They're like, oh, you should see if it has uh, pup packs. This does not. And especially at this computer specs, it better not. It will definitely crash. It, it won't even run. So, I mean, this right here, as far as VPX, it does have 269 games. Um, let me see how I could go back because everybody does their back a little bit different. They have the A button on this. VP9 
has 375. So again, I didn't do VP9 on my personal pin, um, but as you can see, it looks like a, a couple of repeats. Um, but you know, VPX to me, oh my God, is that a window? <laughs> I don't even know why that's there. Um, let's go back. We're gonna go, let's run to some VPX. Uh, this doesn't have the forbidden table. Uh, most people will understand that. So on Facebook, I basically asked the group, I said, what is a very kind of um, high intense CPU graphic game that will eat up? So a lot of people suggested Indiana Jones. Uh, just a quick note, see like this here, like these are user created tables. My personal pin, I didn't do these tables. See, some tables have audio. I didn't do these like user created ones. I really went with like real tables. It's just like the main tables, they don't have audio. Ugh, it's it's so sad. It's it's really sad. Um, but for right now, real quick, I'm gonna launch the Simpsons pinball party. Okay, so what we're gonna do right now is again, I'm gonna launch the Simpsons pinball party. Um, I'm not gonna have the to volume too loud because wife is sleeping, but. Let's just see how long this takes to load. Three, two, one. Please wait. I am now loading up the game. Have fun. No transparent. Um, basically, that is a driver thing inside of NVIDIA. Um, you have to go into that. And basically, I ran this table once I got the game. Uh, once I got this in, I ran this table. And the first thing I do is I just, I just spaz out on the flipper. And just the delay on the flipper is just atrocious. Uh, it's, I mean, it's not even running. I just discovered that it's not even running an i3. So again, not doing anything right now. Table launches. And off the bat, all this, all VPX. So far, I've only tested a couple of tables. This table is not really aligned correctly. Um, you know, this should really be a, more to the left. And again, look at that. You literally have this activate Windows thing going on here. So sad. So sad. At least the DMD up top um, seems presentable. Show you that. So he's got the DMD. He's got basically the back glass with the grill. And then DMD is there. So right now, again, um, KLZ board, I didn't swap it out yet. So I'm going to insert coins with my broken keyboard. If I can. There we go. Sorry. Okay, and the biggest thing is you're gonna hear the audio stutter. Um, I'm gonna miss out on the DMD for a little bit. I'd rather you guys see the flipper, honestly. So, pressing one. I'll bump the volume a little bit. You can already hear the stutter. And I didn't even start playing it. That's not a speaker thing. That is just the PC can't handle this. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna just do one. You can see, look, I'm literally hitting the shift key on this. Look. So I'm gonna spaz. So right there, you see that kind of delay? That shouldn't happen. Now we'll play. You could just see the non HD graphics on this. <laughs> you could hear the audio. That right there, I got flipper lag, so I pressed the key. Flipper didn't move. Again, while the game plays, I'm I'm spazzing out on the flipper. You could hear the audio. God. Again, you could hear the audio lag. It's just so depressing to hear my game. <laughs> I call it my game on this table. 
again. I'll bring my keyboard up here so you can see what I'm doing exactly. So, I got left and right here. So, biggest thing is to just kind of keep your eyes here on the flipper. So, while I play, like on my V pin, those things don't stop. And you could even see it it's being held. So, let me check. Look, you can see though, this, it just stops. Look, it becomes unresponsive. But that's just me. You can see how I'm doing it. And you can just see it. The audio, it's god awful. I can't believe somebody even sold this to somebody. We'll go back. Uh, again, this doesn't have the forbidden table. And I, I press Q which I think is also set to exit pinup player. Um, I'm gonna try to relaunch. Okay, so we're back. So um, basically this person has, on my VPN Q is set to like exit, you know, VPX. I think escape is what I should have pressed. Uh, somebody did suggest a high kind of graphic or CPU game is uh, Indiana Jones. So let's run that real quick. Um, actually, no, you know what? Before I do that, I actually would rather run VP9 Simpsons if he has it. And we could just see how that runs real quick. That's gonna be a good comparison if we could bring back the Simpsons. So we got the Simpsons Pinball Party. Please wait, I am now loading up the game. Have fun. Now we're gonna run VP9. I personally haven't, you know, VP9, you're talking two or three years ago. And also a big thing is remember this system was about, is about two years old. See, this is correct. At least he's got the full screen on this. Let's see. Okay. So VP9, I mean, it is VP9 though. Oh, you can even tell the whole difference, <laughs> even the homer head. See like that, yes, okay. Flippers on this is, is that's how it should have been on VPX. Um, So VP9 at least, it's just don't put VPX, if VPX doesn't work correctly is where I'm trying to get at with this. Um, now that I discovered that it's not even worth me doing Indiana Jones on this, um, I'll just do it for kicks. But it's just, if you know it doesn't work, then why give it to the customer? It, it doesn't make any sense. So I just pass Indiana Jones, A, B, C, D, F, G, H, I. Here we go. So again, this is from the Facebook forums. Please wait, I am now loading up the game. Have fun. Facebook page, I should say. They suggest Indiana Jones. I'll run a VPX, uh, a Pinball FX3 table, but I didn't, I didn't run a VP9 before I shot this video, so that was okay. It's just those tables, they're old. I mean. You could tell by the design and everything, it's old. Also, again, non-HD. I mean, imagine if this was a 1080p play field, it probably would look great. But since it's in coins, one more. All right.
Now, at least this table here, though, is correctly proportioned, um, meaning it is filling up the screen. I hope I launched the VPX. I think I did. Seems okay. I mean, it's fair. And I was on VPX, right? Yeah, I loaded up VPX. That's what that was. Uh, let's go back, last one, and then we're gonna do the next. We're gonna basically do what I said I was gonna do. Let's load up FX3. Um, we'll do we'll do Family Guy. Please wait. I am now loading up the game. Have fun. Again, it's just, uh, the, the PC specs on this is just atrocious. Oh God. Okay. Like that, you should always disable that. Um, let's start the game. Oh, this is fun, huh? What are you doing, Mr. Johnson? Well, then this has been an absolute misfire. Windows. Let's see if I press escape. Okay, I'm assuming that it exited behind. Let's launch. Um, I'm not really into FX3 too much, meaning I haven't played too many tables. I'm trying to think of a table that's really kind of very um, CPU intense. I think Jurassic Park. Please wait. I am now loading up the game. Have fun. Have fun. Let's see. like the stutter on the ball. It's not perfectly, you know, the hertz on the screen on the monitor, but again, it's a VGA. I wouldn't expect much of hertz. Let's exit out. There was another uh, Jurassic Park. Yeah, this one. Let's see this Please one. wait. I am now loading up the game. Have fun. Again, it's just, you know, should have had the sound. Again, the, the amount of data, you, if you remove VPX, you know, you could have added the table sounds and all that. Start a new game. Looks like Kevin started a game here. Um, I'm gonna say like screen throws. Reptiles and bring anything even remotely resembling a human creature back to the base. We have found an alternative route. Nice. Okay, let's have some characters on the screen. And we got a waterfall. We got a dinosaur going. you could see from there I mean again I'm personally I'm disappointed on it yes to some people it might not be that big of a deal some of the lag might not be a big deal um, but I definitely noticed the lag I would play this but the audio on this I'll play it I'll have to lower the music on it so we don't get copyright hit um, let's lift up the play field I'm gonna hit the little audio switch while we do that we might as well launch the table Again, this doesn't have the forbidden table. I thought it did. It's actually like a 
um, what's the word, a user created variant of the forbidden table. <laughs> um, let's see how this runs. It's just like I said, it's, it's for the price, it's just, it's not right. Okay, so now this right here is, is, is correct. Screen-wise on this was correct. Before I played, all the tables were shifted to the right. Um, let's see, let's launch a couple of coins. I need one more coin. Again, I have the volume low on purpose so we don't get hit with copyright infringement. How long am I going to be stuck in this <laughs> vortex? Oh, okay. All right, okay, let's play. Very interesting. Now I'm not getting any flipper lag. Hmm. I guess after I launched Simpsons, it. It's fine, which doesn't make sense. Shouldn't really happen that way, but okay, we're done now. So basically right now, I'm gonna swap out the KLZ board, which I do have here, brand new. Um, basically, I already soldered what is needed. So I got the solder already down. Basically, I'm gonna take exactly what he has and just basically put the his pins in. And for Kev, just to help him out in some way, um, as you could see, the system was running four gigabytes of RAM. I ordered 16 gigs of RAM for this. So we're gonna turn the computer off and update the RAM and the KLZ board. Okay guys, after about three hours, we got the KLZ board all set up properly. Plunger, a little messed up, how to fix that for him. Um, everything's basically good. Removed four gigs of RAM. So these are two by two sticks. Again, you got my packages here because some people I like to show and make sure that they know. Now the system is running 16 gigs of RAM. Intel's still there. And now we could do a couple of test games. All right guys, so we swapped out the RAM sticks on this. We got the new KLZ board running. So basically, again, this was the old one. Um, again, it looked like, again, I'm not sure if Kevin did this right here, but this was basically just randomly put here. I'm not sure who did that. I do think that's what shorted out this board. So this is totally fried. Again, this was running four gigs of RAM, swapped out and basically put four by four. So this is a uh, 16 gigs of RAM running on this. So right now it's got a push button in the back. Once you push the push button, LEDs turn on because the LEDs are connected to the actual computer. Um, we'll let it boot up. We'll let it do its thing and then we'll do a little bit of a gameplay thing real quick. I put the plexi on it and I put the side rails on it. And again, it boots up fast because of the SSD. Uh, it does run an SSD drive. Again, activate Windows. It's just pretty sad to honestly see that. Uh, again, this was basically running a, um, a variant of an eight, like a Dell Optiplex uh, by HP. This system is about two years old, um, according to Kevin. Um, and uh, sadly, it's just, you know, it is what it is. So basically, Kevin, just so you know, so while you're in pinup player, as you can see, I got the uh, flippers working. To enter in, you press the coin button. You go through the games. I'm gonna real quick go, I should actually went backwards. I'm gonna load up the Simpsons Pinball Party. I might have to open up the cabinet to reach the volume knob uh, so we can at least compare it. As you can see right now, not too much stutter. Navigating the menu and I, again, 16 gigs of RAM. Uh, I'm not gonna say it fixed the job or made this system amazing, but it is definitely a little bit better than before. So I'm gonna press this. I'm not too sure if I have um, 
uh, volume all the way up, but I'm gonna do it one more time. It says to play the game, so coin button. Wait, I am now loading up the game. That's our enter. And unfortunately, I wish I was able to touch the volume knob from here, and I can't. I might have to open this up real quick and raise up the volume. But I'm gonna let it go without any cuts. Again, pretty nifty. Uh, again, 24 inch screen. This is like a five by four resolution um, kind of setup here. It looks like ever since I ran VP9, tables have now gone full screen. So you can notice that real quick. Let's see if you can see it in the camera. I'll move the camera up. Kind of see it now, ever since I ran VP9, the table's kind of fixed itself. So let's put a coin in. I'm gonna have to raise the volume. Give me a second. All right, so I got a volume rocker raised, so I'm gonna press start button. So again, I got the plunger. This is all fixed real quick just to show you. So again, it wasn't an easy kind of just move pins around, how to recalibrate. It took me about three hours in total, but here we go. Sure, the camera's not shaking. Hold the camera down. Stupid failure. Better bring the camera closer. Hold on. Okay, one more time. Anytime you do like you know sort of like think you're going crazy with the flippers, yes. I mean, I'm trying to see when the flipper exactly will stop and lag. So so far so good. Again, 16 gigs of RAM installed. It just to me the ball stutters. Like you do see the slow motion on the ball. Uh, you know it's it's fine. You know for. It's not fine, uh, especially for the price that was paid. Um, you know, it, it, to me, I guess I'm just so used to my V-Pin. Um, you know, it's also though, this is something where, in all honesty, somebody might be like, oh, check out this V-Pin. And you look at this and then you go, no, V-Pin, you know, it's nothing like real pinball. So. This is a real bad example of a V pin. Uh -oh. Again, um, it's it is what it is. It is what it is. So that we got the Simpsons. You just press one button on the front. This is really for Kev. You got the exit button. One button press. It'll bring you back to the menu. Uh, the start button is your back. And then again, we got the clippers. So to enter in, you do coin. Might as well launch an FX3 table, why not? Again, 16 gigs of RAM, which should have been a given on this. Um, right, let's see what this is, Guardians of the Galaxy. Let's try that. So again, I'm gonna press the coin button. Again, right here, coin. Coin again. Please wait, I am now loading up the game. Let's see how Have FX3 fun. reacts on this. I had to cut it because basically um, I had to set up a button. Um, again, I don't know how this person set up their file. Like for example here, I can't go left and right. Again, I unfortunately wasn't able to test it because KOZ board died. So I do have front right here, this yellow, which was extra ball. That's gonna be just our enter. So you're gonna be able to continue it. Again, 16 gigs of RAM. I do feel that it does help. Uh, definitely a big step compared to four gigs, which is just brutal. Again, one button exit. So what's kind of crazy with this person's setup is like I tried to launch Pinball FX3 alone outside of this pinup and the game crashes. Um, definitely is a cracked, hacked version of. 
uh, FX3. Um, but FX3 at least definitely is running smooth on this. Uh, again, it's not an emulator, it's just a game. Uh, a lot of Star Wars ones. You know what, now that we bring up the Star Wars, well, let's see real quick. Let's do, uh, let's run Back to the Future. So coin button, coin button again. Please wait, I am now loading up the game. Have fun. Such a, <laughs> I'm not a fan of that woman's voice and everything. <laughs> So as you can see here, see like I'm stuck here. Um, I'm gonna press this enter. I'm gonna probably be able to at least map one of these to the arrow keys, but holding down yellow. Don't say a word. Again, Pinball FX3, it runs. I mean, again, it just, it's kind of disappointing that it's not a 1080p display, um, but there you guys have it. This is the mini V-Pin back in working order for Kevin, man. I hope you enjoy it. Um, again, play around with it. Let's see one more thing. I wonder what this is about. Uh, this is nothing. What is this? If I press start. Please wait. I am now loading up the game. Have fun. Oh, it's a Pinball FX3 table. Okay. <laughs> so, I'm not sure why that's on the home screen. Maybe it's a favorite. I don't know. It's on. It's on the main menu of Pinup. Very hard. Choose your skill shot. I'm ready for anything. Let's see real quick. He's got the Blues Brothers here. What's up with this? This is just a game. Please I'm wait. I'm not sure why. I'm now loading up the game. Have fun. Again, I don't know why it's on the main screen, on the main menu, and not inside the sub menu. Let's see what this does now. Okay, it's the Blues Brothers. Cool. Okay, coin. This is one of those like user created tables. I don't have these tables. Okay. There's just so much noise. That's why I'm not a fan of those user created ones. Last thing real quick, we will run back VP9. Again, coin button is our enter and I should bring back Simpsons. Just for kicks, I mean it did run good, but again, it's just an old, I mean VP9. Please old. wait, I am now loading up the game. Have fun. It's just funny, you can literally see like how much pinball emulation came and this is also running a GTX 1030 uh, on this. I don't know if I did say that. Um, so it is running a 1030. And again, it's just sad to see HDMI to VGA. It's just, it's just sad. Come in. Yeah, this is just a totally different emulator. It's, it can't even be compared to VPX. There you guys have it. I'm calling it Vic VP Game Case Arcades. Kev, your mini V-Pin is back in working order. I hope you enjoy it, man.